Hello, hello, welcome back to Midnight Kitchen. Today, we're gonna be talking about a day trip to Portland, Oregon. We're gonna go over some of my favorite restaurants in the Portland area, what to do, what to eat, how to spend a day, the best day in Oregon. As I mentioned in my previous day trip videos, I love, love, love the idea of road tripping and day tripping, and also getting a fun breakfast to start off the adventure. I rarely get Burger King for breakfast, so for me, this is a fun start to this road trip adventure. This is our first time getting the mini sausage egg burrito. I really enjoyed that warm flour tortilla wrapping around that soft egg and also slightly charred crispy sausage and melted American cheese. It's slightly smaller, but for us it was perfect for a quick breakfast. It was convenient, easy to eat, and also very affordable. Portland is also a vibrant city located in the heart of Pacific Northwest. It's known for that lush greenery just like Seattle, outdoor activities, and also a thriving food and beer scene. It's also a perfect place for people who want a unique, very authentic, and slightly quirky experience. The city is home to iconic landmarks such as Powell City of Books, the largest independent bookstore in the world, and Portland's Saturday Market, an outdoor market featuring local vendors and craftsmen. Portland is a thriving food scene, and today you're going to go with us on a culinary tour of some of the best restaurants in this town. Our first stop is Jinju Patisserie, a Korean French bakery. The bakery is known for that unique fusion of Korean and French flavors and techniques. Some of my favorites are their use of black sesame, yuzu, and matcha. They serve a variety of pastries such as croissants and cakes using Asian-inspired ingredients. This is one of the best croissants I've had. The evenness of all the layers and the degree of flakiness was more superior compared to many I've had. These cakes had distinct texture and flavor profiles. Amazing when you take one bite with all these elements. For our next stop, we go to Elm, a very popular restaurant located down the street from the patisserie. They're known for their Thai style barbecue and also cocktail pairings. I love their smoked meats. We got the smoked lamb in this case, but they're known for that smoked brisket with the Thai herbs and spices and the barbecue pork shoulder with like the Thai sticky rice, papaya salad, sum tum, and the grilled chicken with the tamarind glaze and also like the crispy garlic. But the menu changes throughout, so when you go there, you might not see these items. The highlight for me was that curry. It is the play on fusion between a classic barbecue and also a Thai curry. The smokiness of the lamb perfumed the entire dish. If you like that smoke in barbecue, you're gonna love this dish. The chicken was good. However, I think it was a little bit more acidic for my taste. I wish the gastric focused more on the sweet component rather than that strong vinegar taste. After two light lunches, of course, we have to walk it off at the most iconic Portland spot, Powell's Bookstore. Powell City of Books uh, was founded in 1971 and is now known as the largest independent bookstore in the world. This bookstore occupies an entire city block and contains over 1 million books across multiple floors and rooms. They are known for their extensive collection of new and also used books as well as a very unique atmosphere and for many events. They host a variety throughout the year, including author readings, book signings, and so many literary festivals. 
You can even get lost in the aisles and find your next favorite book. And for me, it's my next cookbook. For our next recommendation, I will bring you guys with us to see the aerial view of Portland. The Portland Tram, also known as a Portland Aerial Tram, is definitely a popular attraction that you must check out. It connects the South Waterfront District with the OHSU Oregon Health and Science University campus. The trip takes approximately four minutes only, but provides a beautiful view of the city and also surrounding landscape. Our goal was to check out Blue Star Donuts near the entrance of the tram. Unfortunately, they were closed, so I've inserted some footage from my first trip to Blue Star Donuts. Blue Star Donuts is one of my favorites, known for their creative, unique flavor combinations and high quality ingredients. I love the lighter and fluffier texture, partially due to the brioche nature of this dough. They also use locally sourced organic ingredients whenever possible, and I love their creative combination of fruit, spices, and herbs. After some light strolling, we started making our way to the dinner spot. If you're a fan of baking, especially bread making, you've probably heard of Flour Water Shalt East, written by Ken Forkish. He's a renowned chef, baker, and author, also based in Portland, Oregon. And as a foodie and bread maker at heart, I have to go and check out this pizza shop. I love, love, love his guide to bread making techniques from sourdough starters to shaping to baking. It is so thoroughly written and I've created some amazing loaves from the book. They're known for their wood-fired pizzas, but for me, the highlight is their dough. In addition, they're known for using high quality ingredients and focus on not only local, but also very seasonal produce. For me, a good crust is all about that chew. It's not dense, but so light, yet thin. The dough needs to have flavor, natural flavor, not additives. That comes from the fermentation process and also the use of ingredients. His second book, The Element of Pizza, was published in 16 and is considered one of the best pizza cookbooks available. If you love pizza and pizza making, you have to give his restaurant a try. I love their seasonal specialties and also their specials when it comes to toppings. Luckily, the next dinner spot is nearby. We drove approximately 10 minutes, found parking, and began our next food adventure. The next stop is Hot Yai. I remember having them for the first time a year ago, and I told myself, wow, this is worth coming to Portland for. They're located in the heart of Portland and is known for their authentic Southern Thai approach. They're all about bringing the street food vibe to Portland. Very bold flavors, unique approaches, and good alcohol pairings too. Some of the most popular dishes include fried chicken, which has been marinated in, in like a mixture of coconut milk and spices before being fried to a crispy, crispy perfection. They also serve a range of curries, including like your classic Muslim curry with beef, potatoes, peanuts, and a pengen curry with chicken and also kefir lime leaves. Hat Yai is not like your traditional Thai restaurant. They're small bites, yet bold, bold flavors. Imagine heavy, heavy marination, but at the same time, it's not overly salted, just perfect, especially for a drink. It is their unique spice blend that attracted me the first time I had it. I wanted to go back to Portland just to have this again.
This restaurant reminds me of Pok Pok, famous for its delicious and authentic dishes like the famous fish sauce wings and spicy papaya. If this is your first time to Portland, Voodoo Donuts is definitely a must. They're known for creative and very unique donut flavors and designs, as well as a very fun and quirky atmosphere. The donuts are on the sweet end for me, but at the same time, I do love all their creativity, especially their use of toppings, the crunchy bits, in contrast to the jelly fillings. We ran out of stomach space for this trip, but check out these restaurants here. They're also amazing. Another popular restaurant in Portland is Nong's Kalmangai, and this food cart turned brick and mortar restaurant serves up one special dish, the famous Kalmangai, a Thai style chicken and rice dish that is simple yet delicious. Of course, now there are many dishes that they do well, but this chicken and rice is a must have. If you're a fan of Vietnamese food, you're gonna love all the noodle soups available in Portland. They had really good bông bò quay options. The International Rose Test Garden is located in the heart of Portland's West Hills, and this garden is home to over 10,000 roses and one of the largest and also oldest rose test gardens in the country. If you need a quiet, relaxing stroll, check out the Portland Japanese Garden. Portland is known for their food truck pods. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go this time, but definitely we'll fit it in on our next trip. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed your day in Portland with us and discovered some of the best that this vibrant city has to offer. Hope you like this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.